Hi everyone and good afternoon from Gulf Shores, Alabama. In this video here, well, we're gonna show you everything there is to do here in the Gulf Shores area, from the amusement parks and the water parks to the animal attractions, food, drinks, mini golf, and more. Beginning here, I would of course, where you would start, naturally, the beach. It's a big, long, beautiful beach with very, very soft white sand. Uh, plenty of public beach access points as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's, we're here in the summer, it's hot, so you definitely want to get in the water. All right, let's go check out everything else there is to offer. I go by the legend, jump by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. And this is the things to do in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Let's kick off the things to do in Gulf Shores, Alabama by talking about what I feel is the biggest attraction in town, and that is Tropic Falls at Oa. And this is a combination of an amusement park with an indoor water park and an outdoor water park. And it's a pretty good place. It's very new. It opened within the last, I think, five to seven years or so. And it's very nice, very shiny, very clean. And they've got all sorts of things at this attraction. First of all, on the amusement park side, which is my favorite, I love amusement parks, and they've got a big roller coaster called Rolling Thunder that runs right through the middle of the park. A, a wilder ride than it looks as well. And then flanked on either side of that big roller coaster, on the left side as you enter the park, you'll get all sorts of rides for the adults. So you'll have things like spinning rides, lots of spinning rides. Some, well, some of you need a really, really strong stomach to go on because, man, they spin quite a bit. And all sorts of rides like that. There's also a spinning mouse roller coaster on the left side, along with a shooting haunted house style dark ride. On the right side of the roller coaster, you're going to find all sorts of rides for the little ones and the family friendly rides. And these are good for little kids, people that aren't as adventurous, people that might, you know, vomit on some of the other rides. And then also attached, you'll find the water park. And it's interesting because it's a giant indoor water park, but it's got a retractable roof like a baseball stadium would have, so that in the winter months, they could still run that indoor water park. Big, massive indoor water park. They also have an outdoor water park section with a big wave pool and a jumbotron. Now, talking about pricing at Tropic Falls at Oa, the theme park only ticket, if you just want to go on the 23 different rides they have, that is $27. If you want to go on the rides and the slides, that is going to run you $63. I'm much more of an amusement park guy than I am a water park guy, so I think that $27 ticket to go on all the rides, that is a really good deal, especially when you compare it to other amusement parks. Outside of the theme park and the water park, the Oa area does have a shopping and dining entertainment area, which is free to come into and walk around if you're looking for something to do, especially in the evening time, after you're done at the beach or the various water parks. And um, yeah, they've, they've got some solid stuff over here. This area is home to a, uh, a theater where there's a, a variety show, looks like nightly. And then right next to that is a eSports Center. Another shot of the larger entertainment district here. Not all the storefronts are filled, but a bunch of them are. And I uh, love that they have the, the lagoon with the fountains. It's very, very pleasant. On the far end of the shopping and dining area, there is a theater. Um, not for like big name acts. Looks like there's a hypnotist on Thursdays. And coming soon, a Blink-182 tribute band. That would be a good time. There's also some hotels over here and a giant Paula Deen's family kitchen. Uh, we have eaten the one in Gatlinburg and that's, that was pretty tasty. In one of the main lagoons, there's Gravity Island's Water Sports, which I think is a big towing lagoon for like wakeboarding. Well, here in the Owa area, we're gonna grab some lunch at the Groovy Goat. See the Groovy Goat enjoying the air conditioning. A uh, really nice beer selection in here. It's also attached to a large arcade. We've got some of their Tuesday specials, like three big goat whistles. Four dollars on the chips and queso. And then Molly got some buffalo wings. The next attraction I want to talk about is the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo. Now this is a smaller size zoo, spent about two hours there exploring and seeing all the animals, but it was a pretty nice zoo. A couple years ago they actually moved from an older, more rundown facility to this new, modern, very, very nice facility. Now to get into the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo, it does cost adults about $23, and they do have their fair share of big zoo animals in here. So you find things like giraffes, and bears, and lions, but then also some really, really cool smaller 
animals as well, like sloths and lemurs, Patagonian maras, capybaras, and lots of really good stuff. One thing about the zoo, there are a lot of upcharge opportunities where you could go in with the sloths or the lemurs for, I think, around $25. There's also a bunch of rides you can go on, like antique cars, a zipline ride, and also a carousel. Now, the pricing on the rides, they range from about $5 to $6 up to about $15 for the zipline. We are currently at the Gulf Shores State Park, which is a pretty good-sized state park. Uh, also, a lot of beaches in the state park. I really like the trail aspect. They've got these really cool boardwalks. Yeah, they have 28 miles of trails in total. Yes, uh, there's also playgrounds and dog parks. Camping, lodges. But uh, might be just a good for a stroll down this boardwalk. As like many beach towns have a big boardwalk with you know rides and attractions, uh, Gulf Shores does not. But they got this, which is also pretty cool. One thing very popular to do with many on vacation is to go shopping. And they have a giant Tanger Outlet Center here in the Gulf Shores area, on the main strip, not too far from Oa. Currently around the main strip in Gulf Shores at Waterville, USA, the biggest water park here in the Gulf Shores. Admission to this one will run about $36 a person. If you do look in some of the coupon books, you can find coupons for about $4 off. It's, got, it's home to these three main slide towers you see right there. Also a wave pool, a lazy river, a flow rider. And then something interesting about this location and some of their buildings, they offer um, kind of more longer hours for some different kind of attractions, like the Top Golf Swing Suite, where you can play a, kind of a fake version of Top Golf on a big uh, video game and still swing and hit the golf balls, as well as an escape room, bowling, and then they've got outdoor go karts. Located a little bit outside of town is an attraction called Alligator Alley. For adults, it's $17 to get in, and it is exactly what you think it's going to be. It's a giant alligator-based zoo. They have like 700 different alligators? Yeah, they've got a giant lagoon filled with alligators. They've got some smaller alligators separated by age range. So like the four to five-year-olds will be over here, the three-year-olds will be over here, and uh, there's just a giant massive lagoon. And then if you go further towards the back of the attraction, you get to like a swamp area with a boardwalk where alligators can swim like right underneath you and see what I feel like is more of their natural sweating in the swampland. Yes, it's kind of creepy because you uh, don't see all the alligators sometimes. You just see them moving on occasion. And you can see how they blend in so well in a, a swamp-like environment. Mm -hmm. They don't only have alligators there. They do have snakes, turtles, and a bunch of lizards. And make sure you see the feeding show. There's a whole bunch of bleachers, and they do a feeding show at 11, 1, and 4. And uh, that's really cool because they, they try to get some of the, the big alligators out of the water and eating. And that, that's something that's really cool to see. And you learn their fun names. You can also feed the alligators yourself for, I believe, $6. Which is a fun time. For a cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I checked this out. We were there for about an hour and a half, and uh, yep, I would give it a thumbs up. As with many beach towns, there's a fair amount of surf shops where you can go and get all of your beach stuff. This surf style one, which is right by the beach, they've got a giant splash pad for the kids. That's amazing. Yeah, if you had kids, definitely you want to come to this one. Or if you have a molly that goes to eating. You're going to run through all those fountains? Yeah. I guess right now we'll be fine. There's no kids around. <laughs> this next one should be a bit different. We're at High Tide Daiquiris and Mimosas, which is a daiquiri and mimosa stand. But you can also rent fun paddle boats. And greetings from our duck. We're paddling along. Sadly, you can't take any drinks. Yeah. If you want to do the paddle boats at this uh, paddle boat slash daiquiri bar, it is $15 a person for a half an hour. You go on kind of a scenic tour through the swamps past these houses. In a duck. Or a swan. Or a flamingo. We are on the duck. Well, that was a fun but very hot ride on a duck around the lake, so figured daiquiri time was appropriate. Got a nice push one of my favorite frozen beverages. We are currently at the area known as the Wharf, which is a big shopping, dining, and entertainment area. And where are we going to be spending tonight's evening? Excited for this, always enjoy areas like this. In the wharf area, they've got a big Ferris wheel. Have to take that for a spin. And here's the view from the top of the Ferris wheel. Uh, not very expensive, it was $8 per person. We found a coupon in one of the magazine kind of travel things for buy one, get one free. Although you can't see a whole lot, looks like they're getting ready to expand the wharf over there. And way over there in the distance, you can see the entrance right there. They have a big concert amphitheater. Um, they get decent names too. I think uh, country musician Walker Hayes is in concert tomorrow. 
and the Dave Matthews Band the day after that. Mm. Not an attraction that would be for me, but for other people, they've got a Cool Shots Selfie Museum. You enjoy taking pictures of yourself. There's a virtual reality arcade area with all sorts of super futuristic looking stuff. Price on this looks like they're about $13 a game. On the second floor, there is a big arcade, uh, very modern games, very good air conditioning. They also have laser tag. If you want to play some laser tag, you can come do it over here. There is breakout on the second level, which is some escape rooms. While at the wharf, we're going to have some adult beverages starting off here at the Kentucky Mist Distillery. Never turned down a moonshine distillery. And let the fun begin. We're doing some moonshine sampling. We got um, the seven flavored moonshines, as well as two flavored vodkas. Each sample in here is a dollar. All the bottles go for 34 in here. Uh, my favorite was actually the vodka. The cranberry vodka is super dangerous. Molly, what was your favorite? Uh, I like the caramel apple. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of a uh, Sugarlands Apple Pie Moonshine. Well, this one has me sold. I enjoy both rum and tacos. Look at their outside bar. That is awesome, shaped up like a boat. Looks like they have live music in the evening. Sitting at the inside bar, and check this out. There's a giant fish tank. That's wonderful. They have a very nice selection of beers, as well as cocktails, mojitos, and a pretty nice rum list including my personal favorite sipping room. The drinks have arrived. Molly got a truck stop honey brown ale from Back 40 Beer Company. And uh, I love this. I'm having the, uh, the bamboo spice rum from the Barbados on the rocks. Absolutely love this sipping rum. And the other half of rum and tacos, the tacos. I'm not super hungry right now. We ended up for one fried chicken taco. Up next is the poor smart bar which is one of the main reasons I really wanted to come over to the wharf. They have 39 different beers on draft, and the way it works, you hook up your uh, credit card at the bar, you get what's essentially like a Demon Buster credit card, you're gonna put it in this slot here, and then each beer is gonna be a different price per ounce based on, you know, rarity or ABV, and then it's going to charge you per ounce like that. Also, other great things at this bar, while well, it's Monday, and SmackDown is on, so not SmackDown, Monday Night Raw is on, and they got free popcorn. So this gets a huge thumbs up all the way around. I believe every night during the summer, uh, at 8.30, 9, and 9.30, they use some lighting and prediction of music shows. Uh, we happen to be at the wharf on a Monday during the summer, and on Mondays in the summer, they do a fireworks show. You know, can't argue with that. We are currently at the track, which is a family fun center. And the highlight of the track is, well, as you can see, this gigantic go-kart track. That is really fun looking. There's a lot of go-karts on this track. The track is also home to a riverboat themed miniature golf course. A little waterfall near. It's very nice if you're traveling with little ones. They do have a variety of attractions for little kids and probably like five or six little kids rides. The most frightening and highest thrill element here at the track is their sky coaster. Probably get 150 feet tall or so. You'll get harnessed up, lowered all the way up to the top, and then you gotta pull the ripcord and go all the way down. Well, of course, somewhere like this would have to have a big giant arcade. Seems like it spells all the latest and greatest games. They also have one of the spinning coasters here at the track. He is riding it for his 832 coaster. I set it out because it's nine dollars to ride. These uh, do actually spin you around quite a bit sometimes. Like he is really spinning up there. Going around and around and around. But adults of course can ride and there's a credit. I like the cars. I love the color theme. And he's still spinning. And last but not least, they also have bumper boats. Bumper boats with the water guns so you can squirt people. I do like the fountains they have, the whirling fountains. 
we just took a little drive to come out to the Barber Marina because they have this, a giant, giant sculpture of a lady in the water. Yeah, it looks like she's bathing. Yeah, this is wild. And she's not the only wacky sculpture out here. This area's got a, a whole bunch of other interesting stuff. We're gonna show you off in this segment. Right nearby the marina, there is a giant metal spider sculpture. Uh, spiders are not my favorite animals, so this gigantic one kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. We also have knights in the woods. This one was uh, very difficult to spot, but there are indeed knights here. The next one's in the woods a little bit, and it's a friendly brontosaurus. This one you can't get as close to, but there's a giant sundial. Right nearby the road is a friendly stegosaurus. Up next is a triceratops. They're kind of hitting the most famous dinosaurs. I mean, you knew after those other dinosaurs there would have to be a T-Rex at some point, right? We made it to the final of these uh, sculpture-y things on this trail, and this is Bama Henge, an Alabama version of Stonehenge. Now, all of these are very easy to find on Google Maps. They're all within like a, probably a three, four minute drive of each other, and it's a free attraction. Come and check things out. Very neat, very different. We definitely recommend checking this out. Now we're in a Pelican-themed uh, shopping, dining, strip mall kind of thing, right off the main drag. To play some mini golf there's a lot of mini golf here in the gulf shores and that's what you're going to show off in this next segment including the one we're going to play indoor jurassic golf the jurassic mini golf was about 15 dollars per person and that is including buying the 3d glasses because well it might not look like much without the 3d glasses on when you're having 3d glasses on all this neon stuff pops out like crazy and you look super cool like molly pretty cool room with lots of dinosaurs on the of my course there are lots of dinosaurs in this room. And that'll do it for Jurassic Gull. A fun time. Definitely spend the dollar on the 3D glasses, as the 3D glasses made it way more fun. Or difficult. And trippy. <laughs> Located right by Owa, you do have the Creekside Mini Gull. More Mini Gull. This one's across the street from the track, and it is Pirate's Island which is rated number one on TripAdvisor in town for mini golf. Right off the beach, you'll find Adventure Island, which has an arcade, go-karts, but their big selling point is the mini golf. Look at that volcano. <laughs> and if it's too hot, they also have Pirate Blacklight mini golf. As a good beach town, no surprise, right by the beach to find a location of the famous Ron John Surf Shop. Over by the beach, you'll find Shrimpy's Grill and Golf with a, uh, a kind of an interesting, they got a french fry bar. We could put all sorts of toppings on it. And, well, mini golf. Can't say I've seen too many uh, mini golf slash shrimp restaurants. Right on the main drag, Gulf Shores Parkway, you'll find Zooland Tiki Golf, which is all you can play for $5 or now open adults $10. That pricing scheme seems very confusing. A little more old school characters. Lots of uh, zebras and kangaroos. Got a big tiki head guy. I like the mountain. Now that's all for the attractions, but there's a lot more things to do here in the Gulf Shores. Like food, one of the, my favorite things to do when I visit town. So in this next section of the video, we're gonna show off all the food we eat, starting here at Lambert's Cafe, home of the Throat Rolls. Here's the menu here at Lambert's Cafe. Uh, a lot of kind of southern cooking kind of stuff. But uh, pretty good, I have been here before. These sodas are served in giant oversized mugs. Yeah. So they throw rolls are just as you would expect. Somebody comes around on a cart. And they throw the rolls at you. 
It's, it's very fun. And the food has arrived. Food comes out super, super quick. I got the chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, fries, and corn. Molly got a big healthy order of the chicken wings. And then as you're enjoying your meal, some of the servers are going to come around with casseroles. There's the, some of the casseroles. I'm getting some apple butter on my throat roll. They've also got fried okra, black eyed peas, all sorts of fun stuff. They just keep running around as you're eating your meal. Fried potatoes and onions that smell fantastic. Thank you. And of course, a restaurant like Lambert's has to have its own gift shop. Where you can get all your road rolls and merchandise. Grab some dessert here at Hope's Cheesecake. And this is exactly kind of what you think it's going to be. There's lots and lots of slices of different types of delicious looking cheesecake. The cheesecake slices, I think a little pricey at $6.75, but they look really good. I got an Andy's mint cheesecake and Molly got a white chocolate raspberry. Located right off Interstate 10 at the exit for Gulf Shores, you will find Bucky's. If you have not been to a Bucky's before, it is quite the experience. It is these giant gas stations filled with a gift shop section, a snack section, a food section. Um, it is something else. Some of my favorite things to get in here, I love the giant area of beef jerky. I always try and get a different beef jerky every time I come in here. The little cups of pepper jack cheese, the little cups of cookie dough, and then in the bakery area, the kaloshes, the sausage and cheddar kalosh in particular, is one I get every single time. So many dogs at this groomer, and they all look so happy. But we're not going there. We're going here to the whacked out wiener. So this is a pretty neat spot. You get like all the toppings you want on your hot dog. So I got one with bacon, fried onions, wiener dust, wiener sauce, and cheese. Molly, you got yours with mac and cheese, bacon, and then barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I have this selfie area with these fabulous wiener costumes. One of my favorite things to do whenever I'm on vacation is to have the occasional adult beverage. And that's what we're going to focus on in this next segment, starting here at Big Beach Brewing Company. We grabbed a beer flight for $14. You get four beers of your choice. And our favorite was the Emergency, which is a tangerine and blood orange IPA. But the Amy beer is really weird. It is a honey basil wheat. Also, the music you heard outside, Tuesday nights are jam nights, where everyone is invited to bring their own instrument and join the jam. Been to a lot of breweries, I don't think I've seen that before. One of the most famous things in Gulf Shores, Alabama is the Hangout, which is this giant, giant complex here. A restaurant, bar, looks like they're gonna have live music in a little bit, <laughs> ice cream, all sorts of things. Apparently, a children's foam party over there. Drinking a local beer, and a bunch of it is just on the beach, like you run through this big, giant tunnel. And uh, there's that giant, giant restaurant. The thing I really enjoy about the hangout is they've got really interesting decor. Like this wall is all lunch boxes. There's a lifeguard shack covered in pens. In the Owa shopping dining area, look at this Murder Creek Moonshine. A moonshine distillery that I've never heard of before. I'm excited. We have made it inside. You get five samples for $5. Pretty good, pretty good sized samples. Pretty excited for this. And their shine is definitely cheaper than Gatlinburg shine. It's uh, $20 per jar. After sampling, uh, me and Molly shared 15 of their moonshines. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, our favorite flavors were the chocolate mint, the apple pie, and the blueberry. Which I don't know many that do blueberry. No, I, I don't think I've ever seen a blueberry one. Maybe Tennessee Shine Company, but I'm not sure. But we're, we're gonna take home a couple of bottles from this wonderful place. We ventured out of town a little bit for the next one, and that is an institution, one I've never been to, the famous Florabama Bar, located right on the Alabama-Florida state line. Now this is quite the place, some of the bars with live music. Apparently there was, we missed bingo in the tent. But yeah, this is uh, it's right here on the beach, and it is a big place. We've made our way inside where there is air conditioning. 
lots of flags, and uh, underpants. Here you can see the, uh, the group on the beach. We found a bar with a band. The band sounds really good. Look, they have live music on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, drinking their famous Bushwhacker made with five different liquors. And a PBR on draft because, well, this seems like a PBR on draft kind of environment. It does. Definitely enjoyed our visit here to the Florida Band Bar. Incredible the amount of entertainers they have. Three in the main room, two in the dome stage, which I don't even think we found that. But that's probably the main theater we saw earlier. Uh, musicians in the, the bingo in the tent, and then two musicians across the street. Very impressive. And of course, they have to have a gift shop, right? And there we go. That'll do it for our time exploring the things to do in Gulf Shores, Alabama. A really fun vacation town. Lots of different things to do, whether you want the amusement park fun, the beach fun, some good food, some good drinks. They have a lot of things to do in Gulf Shores, Alabama. If you got any questions about any of them, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching this video.